guys, welcome back. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video. I'm in the first shed working right now. Um, you see I got some stuff hanging right now, but I'm just finishing my fur. I'm done trapping for the year. Uh, it was short and sweet for me this year. Uh, work and stuff happening with family and you know, you know how it goes. So um, I got one trap sitting in the back of my property. The other ones that I had out got flooded out. Um, we got a bunch of snow. It all melted off, flooded everything. I pulled everything, snowed a, you know, a foot of snow, so I was, I'm done. So, I don't know, I, I may go run a snare line March or so, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but I'm just putting up some fur here. So, what I want to do is I just want to kind of take you guys along with me. Um, I'm going to flush a uh, raccoon. So, I'll set you up and I'll show you what I use. Um, it's, it's pretty pretty straightforward and to the point guys um, this is my system this is how I do it so I'll clean off my knife here and this is the knife I use it's a Weeby Elite it's really sharp on this side dull on this side pushing edge cutting edge so and I have um, my coon on my beam here this is an adjustable beam it folds up against the wall as you can see, and I got my other boards here that will go on that. Uh, fox, mink, whatever. And this is how I do my racks. I've got this on the board there. So, so this is what we're doing. We're going to go ahead and flush a coon. I, I have no idea how long it takes me to do this. Um, I've never really timed myself, so I'm going to take you guys along. And this is for the guys that really just don't know, don't know how to do it. So I'm going to show you how I do it. If there's a better way, I'm all ears. So I'll take you guys along. Let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do here is I got him on the board, and I like to start mine uh, with the middle, the either leg right in the middle. So start up here with the cheek. I, I start all, all the head area with the sharp side of the knife on raccoons. Um, I'm just going to keep going through this. You just want to take that meat off with the sharp side. This knife is very sharp. It's uh, sharper than your neckers and I hit it with the steel um, after I'm done after I'm done for the day. So, so we're just taking peeling that down. You'll feel it. You'll feel the gristle go away. Just want to get all the meat off. This is where a bullet came out of him, so. These coons are greasy. I always have to clean my knife off. I have a rag. I usually use my fingers, too, so. So, once I get it down to about the leg, I flip my knife over to the pushing side. I'll push all that heavy stuff off. I, this is a fairly short beam, so I don't like to really work real far down the hide uh, for a long period of time because it starts to hurt my back. So, so I got that side all nice and white. We're going to flip her over, and I, you can see where the flesh side was, where I just finished. We're going to tighten it up. Come back to the top with the sharp side, get that meat off of it. Off. 
Greasy cans. Fatty. All the fat's got to come off the hide. I'm going to watch for the nipples on the belly. You hit them real hard and you'll pop a huge hole in the pelt. You want to do that. Get underneath your legs good. And then we'll flip it. Roll it over to the back. Now I have this back piece that's flushed on both sides. Roll it, make it tight. This is the thickest part of the coon. So, start with the sharp edge. And get it down to yeah, about the shoulders. Start really getting that gristle off. Up to that point, just push it. Make sure it don't work too far down at once. Turn the knife off. This is what takes forever, having to stop and clean your knife and getting it all done. Now we just work the bottom half of the skin. Push it right off the hide, get all the fat off of it. Just roll it. I prefer to keep it up towards the top of the beam so I don't have to feel like I'm reaching. You know, I got um, this is the third out of 11 that I'm doing tonight so by the end of it if you keep working down you know bent over towards the end of your beam your back's going to kill you by the end of the day so Push all that off. I don't like to shove all that grease down the tail, so I cut it off. And then bring it back up to the big top of the beam. Bust down the tail.
Okay, that's it. We got a nice fleshed, I mean, fleshed hide. So, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish it all up. And, yeah, that's a pretty decent sized coon. That's a 3X coon all day. So, just like that, guys. It doesn't take that long. Eight, ten minutes, something like that. I've been flushing for ten minutes, so I, I think. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, guys, if uh, if you want to see how I do the rest of them, I, you know, I'm going to board a couple coyotes and some coon tonight. Maybe I'll throw another video together, but... That's how I flesh all my coon. They're all done the same way. So, again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe to the channel. Um, now that trapping season's winding down, um, we're going to get ready for some fishing. So, talk to you later.